this crowd is tired. How many of us were up really late Tuesday night? Yeah, me too. That's the goal, right? That we continue to have things thrown at us every day. And I was so looking forward to Tuesday night and I'm excited about what happened on Tuesday because it's a step in the right direction. We saw the house flip. That's big. That's thanks to you. All the people who are tired, all the people who have spent the last weeks and months out canvassing, out making phone calls, who have not cooked dinner for our children, truly, in maybe seven or eight months. That's thanks to all of us. But we have to keep rising. The Women's March after Trump was elected only brought out 1.7% of our population. What did Bill say we needed? 3.5. So we have work to do. And I know that you're tired, but I also know that you are gonna stand up for that because like John said, this is about the bedrock of our country. This is about who we are as a people. So what do we do? We organize. We always organize. And even though we're tired, what I need you all to do today is to go home and make sure that if you belong to a group, that you keep that group activated. And it doesn't have to be big. You don't have to be out every single day in the streets, but you need to be talking to your neighbors every day. Sit down with them, five people, 10 people, whatever it is, and keep moving forward. Because we need to get to that 3.5%, and we don't do that by by coming out only every, oh God, how often are we out here? Every month, every two weeks, we're out here a lot, but it's gonna take more than that. It's gonna take continuous conversations. Now I'm gonna be out there with you and I'm gonna be looking at legislation moving forward to figure out how we get money and power out of politics, how we move that back to the people. And I wanna hear from you, I wanna hear your ideas. But mostly I want you to keep talking and I want you to stay warm because it's going to get colder and we're going to have to keep marching. Thank you.